Thanks to El Nino, California's coastal waters have become more hospitable to fish from the tropics. Hammerhead sharks are among them. For over a year now, a lot of warm water fishes that we don't usually see have been coming up. The arrival of large numbers of big fish like wahoo and tuna has also invigorated California's saltwater sport fishing industry, which generates an estimated $1.8 billion a year. All the sports fish from Mexico are coming up here. In fact, there's probably more sports fish up here than there are down at the tip of Baja, where they usually are. Uh, things like marlin, uh, yellowtail, wahoo, uh, yellowfin tuna, bluefin tuna, uh, all, all sorts of things that fishermen love to catch. But Southern California's warmer waters are forcing out other species that local wildlife depend on. The normal stocks of anchovies and sardines have moved on, and a lot of the seal populations and sea lion populations, are the pups are starving because the mothers can't find enough food. And so that may be one of the effects of El Nino. Researchers say the northern migration of fish in the Pacific Ocean has been one of the most dynamic effects of the climate phenomenon. Historically, it's a temporary change. Once El Nino stops, the, it just goes back to the cold water fauna. Um, but uh, we all know about global warming, and year by year, we don't know how many of these fish will actually stick around and reproduce. So it's sort of a time uh, we'll wait and see, see how many will stick around and how many will, will leave again. El Nino? and the tropical fish are expected to be around until early next year. For writer Faiza El Masri, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.